oh my. I mean, has Silver done this before? Have we seen Silver behave like this before? <laughs> well, yeah. Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so we know that the reason why silver price is jumping right now, silver spot price is leaping ahead. Uh, 85 cents is gained today, spot price. And we know why that is. It's because of the banking situation. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail about that because I don't know a whole lot about what's going on specifically with the different banks. All I know is that it's not a positive situation for a lot of people. Me and Silver 5150, we did a podcast a couple months ago where we talked about this very situation. I'll leave a link in the description for all of you who haven't seen that podcast. You can go and see that. And we're thinking about doing a follow-up podcast for obvious reasons. If I can nail him down to a specific time, he's pretty busy. But yes, this is what Silver does. It is a safe haven asset which means that when people are not too comfortable or they feel a little nervous about their finances or where the market may go or where their savings may go, then they flock to safe haven assets, physical metals being one of those, physical silver being the most affordable. That's what we're going to talk about today. And so look, the silver spot price is up. So what does that mean? Well, it means the premiums are probably going to go up. We've enjoyed lower premiums. Recently, we've enjoyed uh, more silver. If you're budgeting like I do for your silver, you've enjoyed those few extra ounces that you get to add to your budget because premiums were a little lower, but now I feel like they're gonna go back up. In fact, they have gone up in some of the places that I've checked today. Already, they're reflecting the jump in spot price. So what does that mean? Well, it means that people understand the value of precious metals. I believe more people are stacking it. More people understand what it can do for them. The purpose of physical silver is starting to um, resonate. And so the jump in spot price is reflective of that. People are buying more physical silver, buying more physical metals, and therefore the price is going up. Okay, so what should our actions be as a stacker? Now I get phone calls, people who I know who stack silver, they know I stack silver, so I get phone calls from time to time because I have a podcast. <laughs> so I guess I'm kind of like an expert to them, but I am not a financial expert at all. I can just tell you what I do, what works for me. And so what am I going to do? Well, I'm not going to stop buying physical silver. That's one thing for sure, and I'm sure I didn't need to say that. But I'm not going to stop buying physical silver just because the price goes up. I'm just going to modify my budget. So it's just, you know, business as usual for me. But silver spot price is probably going to continue to rise, at least in the very near future. You know, and I'm not predicting anything major or catastrophic. Just reminding you that hard times are a reality. <laughs> you know, we all face difficulty. But if you could work towards mitigating the impact and duration of those challenges, wouldn't you do that? You know, I believe the physical silver goes a long way with providing peace of mind and security, this feeling of security that we all need right now. All of us have money in the bank, or at least we have to deal with the banking system. Most of the people that I know don't even see physical cash when they get paid. It just goes straight into the bank. And most of us have a 401k or some type of retirement product, and that of course, is in a bank, in some financial institution. And so we all need that, that sense. We long for that sense of knowing that our finances are in good shape, that we can rely on having access to those finances. Now, we can't, all, we can't put all of our money, all of our cash into physical silver. That would not be a good idea. And we can't strictly rely on the bank being our only access to our finances to get the things that we need. There has to be something in the middle. 
something where if one or the other is not accessible to us, we still can do the things that we need to do financially. And I believe physical silver is perfect for that. Now, I know I get a lot of people to say, Silver Joker, you're pumping silver. Okay, maybe I am. But listen, there's a difference between pumping silver with these fantastical kind of unrealistic attributes, but there's a difference in just giving you the raw, letting you know what is real about physical silver. Now, this is a physical silver channel. I stack physical silver, so of course I'm gonna give you the positive side of physical silver, but I also include that silver may not be for everyone, that it is. it takes a, a pretty disciplined budget to stack physical silver. So it's not for everyone. We all have some financial stake in the banking system. We all do. And so we wanna feel like it's secure. <laughs> What's gonna alleviate that? Well, when we hear that it's secure, <laughs> that's gonna be the only way. But in the meantime, you wanna feel like you are prepared if things go sideways. Now, there's lots of information out there about the details of what happened, how it happened, who's responsible for it. There's lots of channels here on YouTube and in the Silverstein community that are talking about that. But I'm gonna focus on the preparedness, how I handle whatever is gonna come of this situation, if anything. You know, I'm not gonna worry that something's gonna happen. I'm just gonna be prepared for the what ifs. So that's where I'm gonna focus. So I just wanted to make this video because like I said, I have those, got those phone calls and people are a little nervous. You know, should I sell some of my silver? Should I pull my money out the bank and buy physical silver? That's entirely up to you. I cannot advise you that way. All I know is that silver, physical silver is a safe haven asset. It gives me a sense of security. It makes me feel financially prepared for whatever may come. I have access to it. I have to worry about doors closing and I can't get to it. I don't have to worry about something happening where I can't access those funds. <laughs> They're in my possession and I can do what I want to do with them. All right, that's really about all I want to say about that. I don't want to scare you. I don't think it's time to panic or even be all that nervous about your money in the bank. A lot of it's secured up to a certain amount and many of us, the majority of us, or fall well within that threshold of having our money secured and insured. So to help yourself be more prepared, think about other things besides fiat currency and banking. <laughs> Do something that if all else fails, you have something to fall back on. At least that's what I'm doing. Anyway, it is what it is. Like I said, we made a podcast. I'll leave a link to that podcast in the description, you guys go and check that out. We talked about this very situation two months ago, but the writing was kind of on the wall. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.